Welcome everybody to Falcon Place, the Westport Independent. Uh, I did a Falcon one shot on this maybe two or three weeks ago on a demo build. Really, really outdated. So right now the game is finally coming out on the 21st, which should be when this video goes live. So if you like what you see, the description below should have a link to the store page itself if you want to check it out on your own accord. All that said and done, let's get into the game over here. We will do a start game. And uh, slot zero sounds just about right to me. Why not? The following is an instructional film about the public culture bill for all independent newspapers in Westport. Throughout this film, we'll answer various questions you may have regarding both preparations for the bill and the bill itself. What is the public culture bill? The public culture bill is a new bill that will come into force May 16, 1949 and has been created to improve the quality of independent media outlets. The bill contains seven guidelines for independent media outlets to follow that will make it easier to create media products of utmost quality. In order to make sure that everyone follows these guidelines, the bill will create a government-driven union called the Loyalist News and Media Association that will be mandatory for independent media outlets to join. What's your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Introducing a new bill takes time. Therefore, until the Loyalist News and Media Association is properly set up and the bill has come into force, the Loyalist government has created temporary guidelines for you to follow. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the Loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the President. And do not print deceitful content that may glorify the acts of rebels or other criminals. Do print content that strengthens loyalty towards the government. Do print content that inspires morality in the public. And finally, do print content that hardens propriety in our society. The Loyalist government expects your cooperation in this matter and hopes you understand the consequences of disobedience and or affiliation with disloyal members of the public. How do I remove the improper content from my paper? First, drag an article to your desk. Second, read through the article and look for fallacies. Third, cross over paragraphs that do not fit with the government guidelines. Fourth, Give your article to the journalist so that they can transcribe it. Make sure that you only give them an article you have fully edited, as mistakes can be quite devastating. That is all for this instructional tip. Remember that the guidelines presented during this film are for media outlets in West Coast only, and is not to be shared with the public. Alrighty, week zero, 12 weeks left until the public culture bill comes into play. You've got mail. Let's find out what our mail is going to be all about over here. So this first week, uh, week zero, I should say, is going to be more of a tutorial type of thing. It'll kind of give you a few articles over here that are mostly just tutorial based. You give them over to your employees and they all have different type of um, affiliations as well. So let's go over here really quickly and take a look at these. We have Julie, known for having doubtful opinions of the government. And right now her well-being is comfort. This is something we're going to have to kind of... Oops, sorry, I can't do that, right? Alright, so the first one over here at Comfort, that's going to tell you how they're feeling working under your, your guidance, right? If they're feeling, you know, relatively low comfort, it means that, you know, they might be getting a bit of um, a strong arm from either the government or the rebels, depending on the type of um, newspapers or at least stories that you print out over here. They'll also tell you the opinion that they feel right now at the moment. So, at the moment, Julie is more towards the rebel side, and her loyalist suspicion from the government is, um, you know, a little bit aroused a bit. Aroused, that's right. We have Phil, loyalist supporter, lives in the Western Districts, lives with disabled brother, went to a private college. As you can see, Phil over here is more towards the loyalist um, camp over here. He's got no suspicion because, you know, he's a, he's a big supporter of the loyalists, so no problem there. Frank, lives alone, no college education, lives by the Eastern factories, opposed the loyalists before they came into power as well. So Frank already had a little bit of a predisposition towards the Loyalist Party over here. Not really fond of them, really high the rebel opinion, and he also has a bit of suspicion already from the government. And finally, we have Anne. She's a parent, lives by the Eastern factories, she's married, and went to community college. 
As you can see over here, she is a bit more towards the loyalist side. No suspicion and comfort is again default because we're just barely starting off over here. So this will give us a little bit of an idea about our employees. <clears throat> Now, what's interesting to note is that essentially all the stories you give them, assuming you're not over here slandering what they believe in, they will print the uh, stories out there for you. But if they don't necessarily agree with your story, they could be like, you know what, I want nothing to do with this here, Chief. And, you know, everything that you do will indeed have a repercussion as you go down the line. So right now we have these articles over here to mess around with. If you don't want to print articles, by the way, you just toss them into the dying articles and you're good to go. Um, right now, since this is all tutorial based, we could go ahead and skip this. I will kind of give you a rundown when we start over here. So, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I already did. And the little introduction kind of did that for you as well. You will go ahead and dash out stories by just clicking on them. You could go ahead and swap over the titles as well to kind of fit the need of the um, article you want to print out as well. So you will basically do everything over here. You'll toss this over to your employees and they will go ahead and transcribe them for you. So again, this doesn't really matter. So I think we just go straight up over here. So we go into our first week. Uh, I will note that um, <clears throat> I'm thinking of probably doing a very rebel heavy um, a rebel support. Well, I'll talk more about this soon. Frank, you know, I've never been a big fan of the loyalist government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I expected. Don't blame it on the government. Blame it on the yellow journalism and the blatant lies that some newspapers post these days. There's nothing good about a misinformed public. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. But do you realize how much power the government will have over the media with this? I agree with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill would benef be beneficial for anyone but the government. Well, media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that giving that power to the government is a great idea either. And as we progress going forward, and depending on the articles you decide to publish, those stories will indeed be changing week by week. So that's really interesting as well. So right now, these are last week's sales. This bar illustrates the sales last week, correct. The container represents the people of that district. So this right here is the entire population, essentially, and we sold this amount of papers for this entire population down here. The light bar illustrates how many of those papers that were sold. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinion will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect the people's opinion. Alrighty, thank you, my friend. So, after our little um, week zero over here, you've got mail. Let's see what we have here. There is nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. I, I bet that's the case here. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, we're going to be going down a rebel-oriented path. I'm going to go out here and just slander the government, tell the people that these people are just using this bill as an excuse to control their lives. This might have a negative impact on our people as well, and it might also put us in danger. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure how long this run is going to go. I'm not entirely sure what the end requirements are over here. Can you even make it to the end of the culture bill and um, before you get shut down I'm not entirely sure but I'm gonna go really rebel oriented over here and we'll see how it goes out if we do complete it we'll probably do maybe another run if you guys want to see more with a pro-government stance and then maybe a neutral one we'll see how it goes depends on how long the series goes for a fact all right so right now we have a few stories here to mess around with let's find out what these are all about here new law to combat illegal workers today Parliament passed a new law to combat the rise of illegal immigration it will require all workers to supply a Westport social security number before being hired. Employers will also be charged for employing refugees or citizens lacking citizenship. Alrighty, well, we'll consider that one. Riots in the Southern Docks. So if we want to go pro-rebel, I feel like we probably have to win the, uh, the support of the, you know, the, the low-class citizens out here. So this might be pretty good. Riots in the Southern Docks. Yesterday, a, a small riot erupted in the Southern Docks. The mob smashed windows and set fire to trash cans. Police tried to intervene but were quickly overpowered by the rioters. The riot ended after backup arrived and eight people were arrested. And right now we have the title of Riots in the Southern Docks. Can we swap this over something else? Rioters assault police officers in the Southern Docks. That's no good. So uh, I'll hold off on that one here for a second. We could probably spin that into our favor, but we'll see here. Uh, let's see, what, what do we want here? Factory explosion shakes Eastern District. 
Man attacks police officer. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages on the walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived on the scene. I think we can spin this in our favor here, so how about we do this? No, no, no. We don't want to do a man attacks police officer. It sounds a bit too sketchy. Man defends teenager, police officer presses charges. I like that one. So we'll go with this over here. We will go ahead and scratch the fact that the teenager was over here uh, busting graffiti on Liberty Square. So we'll leave this part over here. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. Poor child. Getting attacked by the police. The arrest was inter interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away. That's pretty good as well because we want to have a reason why this man was defending a teenager. And then both the man and the teenager were arrested. Perfect. I like this one. We're going to give this over to... Mm, Julie is more on the rebel side. This is going to be kind of anti-government here a bit, so I think Julie could go ahead and do that one. Oh, Julie doesn't want to go ahead and do that. She has some editorial um, class over here. Alrighty. Who else can we give this to then? Man defense teenager. What about Franco? Franco! Frank doesn't give a shit. He hates the government. Alrighty, Frank. Thanks a lot. Let's see. New teaching materials in all state schools. Factory explosion. New cafe pays homage to movie star. Let's go with police arrest chairman over here. Police arrest union chairman. Or union leader excuses protesters' violence while blaming police. Yes, that's good. Protesters' violence is being excused by the union leader while blaming the police. Excellent. Union Chairman Ernest Lynch was arrested today for suspected rebel ties. Okay. We might want to scratch that part. Organizing many of Westport's recent protests, Lynch has become a hero of the working class. That's good. These protests have been accused of disturbing the peace and promoting violence. Lynch claims that the violence in question was self-defense against attacking police officers. That's really good. I like this a lot. Julie? Don't fail me now, Julie. Alrighty. That's, she's okay with doing that one, but the other one is kind of like, no, no, Falcon. I don't want anything to do with that one. Alrighty, let's go here. We need two more at least, right? We have Anne and Phil. Let's go with, um... Let's go with Factory Explosion because we do want to win the favor of the lower class citizens. Eastern and Southern are kind of like the low class and mid class over here. Factory Explosion shakes Eastern District. Romable Factory blown up by rebel bombs. Yeah, I don't think we want that. <laughs> we'll go with Factory Explosion. Tragedy struck last night as a local factory exploded in the Eastern District. Several were left injured and casualties already number in the hundreds. Romavol management claims that this was due to the accident involving chemical punk compounds. Police believe otherwise with the suspicions of rebel involvement. Nope. Don't want that one. Um, Phil? Let's go with Anne. Anne's down with it. Perfect. New Cafe pays a lot to movie star. And this will be more for the upper class people. They want news about, you know, movie stars and, you know, what, well, what fucking exercise Kim Kardashian is doing nowadays to look good and you know that's what they want to hear about but we're not really looking to satisfy their curiosity at the moment new teaching materials in the state schools let's find out what this one's about we could swap this over to government plans to censor teaching materials in state schools oh I like that a lot that's pretty good the current materials in schools are outdated and incorrect says the minister of education all teaching materials will be replaced with updated material I want to remove this here Already, this kind of gives you the idea that the government is doing a good thing over here by removing these um, items. The new material will be examined by government officials to ensure it is proper and relevant. Okay. Phil? Uh, haha, I figure Phil would not want to do that. I'm not going to force him. How about we move Anne's thing over to Phil? Okay, perfect. And let's see. Government plans to censor teaching materials in school. Anne? Oh, god damn. Okay, hold up, hold up. Union leader to Anne? There we go. And government. Julie? Oh, <laughs> breaking my balls here. Uh, Frank. Not gonna work, huh? I, I know Phil's not gonna want to do this. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. Can't do it. I I'm gonna force one of you guys if you don't like allow this shit to go down. I'm telling you right now. All right, I'm going to mess with her comfort level a bit here. You know what? Let's, um... She is the one who is what? A bit more loyal than anything. Julie might be able to play this one off a bit better. So, 
I don't think Julie wanted to do it, but since we're going to be going uh, pro rebel, we could actually get her opinion of us a bit higher after. So we'll force her a little bit. Julie's um, comfort might drop down for that, but we should be fine. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and send to print. By the way, um, publishing these papers or these stories will indeed put our people into possible um, sketchy situations as well. So we got to not only take care of what we're printing out here, but also the well-being of our employees as well. So let's go ahead and send this over to print and see what's going to go down. I can't say I'm too happy about the way our editor is spreading anti-police propaganda. What do you mean? What I mean is that how can we feel like acceptable journalists when, the glor when we glorify criminals and their accomplices? Well, if the officer didn't act like a violent madman, an innocent civilian wouldn't have had to stop him. If that brat hadn't gone around vandalizing property, the problem would have existed and wouldn't have existed in the first place. Good point. Very good point. Ten weeks left. Alrighty. What do we have here? No? Oh! <laughs> We're publishing the good stuff over here, man. Southern dogs are really feeling it. Eastern dogs as well. We did some pretty good numbers with the Western District and Northern. Kind of like, ah, eh, where's my TMZ news? God damn it. So right now, Southern dogs are more towards the rebel. Eastern dogs or Eastern factories are kind of loyalists still, but moving over here to the right. Opinion is over here. Loyalists and complete loyalists up here in the North. Popularity increasing. Good. So police's um, or people's political opinion swaying a bit towards rebel. Loyalist suspicion of you, 20. You know, we did publish a bunch of uh, slandering stuff out here today. I'm not going to lie about that. And our popularity went up by 6. Perfect. You got mail. This could be bad. Oh my god. I already see three of these things coming in from the government. Dear Editor, one of your employees, Frank, has recently written quite a few questionable articles for your paper. We expect you to show your people's proper discipline in order to prevent events such as these, especially since the regarded employee has a history of disloyal behavior. You will do well to remember that reluctance in this matter will reflect poorly not only on your employee, but on you as well. Mmm. Those threats are coming in, right? Next one. That's the first one we just read right now, right? Yeah, that's the Frank one. Second one. Dear Editor, one of your employees, Julie, has for the last few weeks created content for your paper that can only be described as disloyal. Her frivolous behavior of jumping from nest to nest has made her lose sight of her roots. Her naive mind must be taught the, pos the that position she is in. If not, punishment will fall on both of your heads. My god. We are over here pushing it, aren't we? Can we move these other wares so I don't have to, um... No. Can't get rid of them completely? Guess not. Alrighty. We have a lot of stuff over here to read, though. Dear Editor, as you are probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down their affiliated marketing agency. As it so happens, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means that from now on, you will have to take care of advertising yourselves. Additionally, because of your affiliation with the perpetrators, we'll be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. Of course, they already are, aren't they? All right, let's see what this is all about here. As tyrants grow, so does the need for civil disobedience. When police attack innocent civilians, it's up to us to stop them. Justice is in the hands of the public, not in the hands of pigs. Join the rebellion today. Okay, that's what we're going for, the rebel cause here. And we have a note. Rebel neighbor, uh oh rebels are taking note already. Dear editor, as the fat piglets of Westport are too busy stuffing their faces with government-sponsored uh, treats, it's kind of really hard to read this text here a bit. I wish they would have used like a different font for it. Sponsor treats to tell the difference between innocence and guilt. We're going to start having some pleasant shouting parties outside of their barns. We've already held our first one. We invite you and anyone else you know to our second event next week. We've got to reach those porky ears at some point. Best regards, your friendly neighborhood rebels. Alrighty, thanks a lot, Spider-Man. Or Spider or Rebel Man, I guess will probably work out a bit better. Alrighty. Let's find out what our stories are here for today so we can wrap up this first episode here. How are you guys doing? Julie, Comfort is still pretty good. Phil's alright. Frank went up, and Anne is fine. Okay, good, good. Comforts are still not a problem. What about the suspicion, though? Anne is uh, a bit suspicious. Oh, <laughs> Frank is gonna get wrecked by the government here soon enough. Phil is perfectly fine, and Julie is a bit high as well. I, I forced her into that, so it's my bad. Alrighty, let's see here. Bomb disrupts rally. Police leads witch hunt after bombing. Uh-huh, I kind of like that. 
Tragedy struck yesterday as a bombing occurred during a political rally in the Western Districts. And that's gonna give us some points with the Western Districts as well, maybe. Casualties are still unconfirmed, but several people were injured. In response, the police have brought in several local political groups for questioning. Despite claims of having alibis, all of, them all of the arrestees remain in custody. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... I like all of this, honestly. It was a political rally, and there was a bombing involved with that, right? And the casualties are still unconfirmed, but several were injured. We want to keep that in there as well. In response, the police... Actually, wait, wait. What if we scratch this one off? In response, the police have brought in several local political groups for questioning, which could be the rebels as well. Despite claims of having alibis, all of them are still being held in custody. That's pretty good. So basically, we'll have them believe that the... Uh, the police over here, the government, are just keeping them under arrest even though they have alibis and they have no proof. And this, again, leads to witch hunt after bombing. That's pretty good. Who wants to publish this one for me? Anne? Okay, Anne. I'm breaking my balls, Anne. Julie? Nope. <laughs> this is gone. This has Frank written all over it. Yeah. Alrighty, Franco. You don't give a shit, right? Yeah, Frank's like, give it to me, boss. I got it. I'm sorry, Frank. You might get arrested here pretty soon, thanks to my uh, mindless um, stories for you here. <laughs> no offense, Frank. I just really like your go-getter attitude. New plans to add fluoride to drinking water. Rebels influence Westport papers. Oh, they're over here trying to slander our newspaper now. Police scare populace with conspiracy theories. <laughs> this is good. Today, police started an investigation into rebel influences within Westport's media. This is due to a large number of suspected rebel letter letters being found at the now vacated Northern Herald. Signed, Friendly Rebel Neighbor. We got one of those. Several of the letters contain references to various acts of terrors. This is why the public culture bill is needed, the president stated in the press. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and remove acts of terror. Today, police started an investigation. We could leave that right there. This is due to a large number of suspected rebel letters being found at the now vacated... Herald. I'm going to remove that as well. I just want the people to believe that they want to do this because they want to. And it's giving them a reason to pass this public culture bill. So, I think this is fine. Anne is down for that one. Julie's down for that one as well. Julie is, um... I'm going to go with Anne for this one. Just because she has lower suspicion for the Loyalist Party. Two more stories needed. Okay. New plans to add fluoride. Protesters outside police station. Or rebel sympathizers attack police. No, 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 don't want that. Protesters outside police station. Yesterday afternoon, a group of around 300 people gathered outside Liberty Square Police Department in protest. The group protested, protested the recent arrest of a local man for protecting a suspected rebel teen from a police officer. Oh, that's the story that we covered last time. The police retaliated by dispatching the riot police who arrested several other participants. I'm going to scratch that part off, the whole rebel thing. But I want to leave everything else over here. Phil? No surprise there. Maybe Julie. Maybe. She's down. Perfect. Now we need a story for Phil. Price of root vegetables expected to rise this year. The Northern Herald shuts its doors. That might be pretty good. We could probably spin this in our favor here. Because remember, the Northern Herald was also closed down by the um, government after this whole building they want to pass over here. The public culture bill claims its first casualty. I like that a lot. Today, after almost a century of publication, the popular magazine The Northern Herald released its final issue. Its sudden dismantlement was due to violations of the guidelines set up in the preparation for the public culture bill. The paper's marketer, which was responsible for advertising several of Westport's other independent newspaper, was also shut down. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one right there. And... Phil... doesn't want to do it. No surprise there. No surprise there. What... if... No. What if I give this one to Phil? He's down with that one. Anne, can you do the public culture bill for us? Yes, perfect. Proceed to layout. Pick articles from here and drag them to an empty page in the paper. Okay, I thought they had removed this feature altogether, but it slowly enters into the second week now. I get you. Alrighty, so... And the first page, what do we want? Let's see. I'm gonna go with the public culture bill claims its first casualty. I like that one a lot. Societal, crime, and industrial. No celebrity news, obviously. Click on the right half of the paper to turn to the next page. What do we want following this up? We'll go with, um... Police leads witch hunt after bombing. I'm gonna go with the protesters instead. Societal and crime. Perfect. 
click on the left to turn the previous page. Click here to make... Oh, wait, so... No, 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 I want the third and fourth one as well, dog. I don't want to move to marketing just yet. Uh, we'll go over here to Police Leads Witch Hunt. Crime and Societal, again, really, really high up there. And finally, we'll do that one. Oh, baby. Marketing, indeed. Drag sliders to change the marketing focus between the different districts. So, we can kind of focus what we want to do over here. So, the Northern Suburbs, about 75,000. They have government sectors and legal bureaus. Um, celebrity news and industrial news is what they're into. There's a bit of industrial involved in our newspaper here today, but nothing too big. That is pretty good, I'm going to say, for now. Let's go ahead and publish our paper. So now they're cramming down propaganda in school. I honestly can't believe this crap. Calm down, Frank. I've seen the books my son brings home from school. They're ancient. They've been due to an up they've been due an update for years. I don't think that's the point, Anne. This will give the loyalists full control over what children believe is right or wrong. This is nothing more than an excuse to force feed kids with their bullshit propaganda. Oh come off it! If the government doesn't pick the books, who will? You precious rebels? <laughs> Alrighty, week number three. And we're going to be wrapping up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us. mean a lot, especially for the start of a new series here. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. Let me know your opinions on what we're doing over here. Oh my god, we sold everything at the Southern Docks. Amazing. So pretty good week, I'm going to say, here at the Southern Area. Rebel political opinion went up. Uh, Loyalist is becoming very suspicious of us. And then our popularity went up by 25. Oh, baby. And we got mail. We'll find out what this mail is all about next time around. Hopefully you enjoyed it with a thumbs up. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, we will go forward with this. I will catch you next time.